some nights are because I wish he was here that I could talk to him and just hold him. But I can't. All I can do is just talk to his ashes and hope he hear me. That is sad to hear. Nearly a year later and one family, a mother you see there is still looking for answers when it comes to who killed her 17 year old son. Glad you're with us tonight at 10. I'm Sarah Whaley. And I'm Rick Marinon. Shea has the night off. Now, we first told you last October about the shooting death of Damarian Brown. At this point, his killer has still not been arrested. In a Fox 23 exclusive, John Aceva spoke with Damarian's mother this afternoon. He joins us live. John, of course, I can't even imagine this. They carry this with him every single day. Yeah, it's very, very heavy, but it's almost amazing. That's the best word that I can come up with at how well she has been dealing with this. In fact, they just celebrated what would have been his 18th birthday, but they know the shooter and the killer is out there. They're asking that person or someone who knows something to come forward. He sits at the dinner table with us. Standing across from me is Letitia Brown, Demarion Brown's mom. She's holding the ashes of Demarion. It just feel like it just, it was just feel like it was just yesterday. I got the knock at the door and my brother-in-law telling me that he was gone. Demarion was just 17 years old. His mom says he was a good son. Next year will be his last year in high school. We just celebrated his 18th birthday. <laughs> He was, he was a good kid. Homicide detectives with the Tulsa Police Department have charged Macchia Riggins with first degree murder, but police say they are still searching for another suspect, the one who shot the gun. Somebody knows more than what they telling people, telling the police crime stopper and all of that. It's more to the story and all we want to know is what happened. Demarion Brown was walking down one of these roads near 48th and Rockford. One year later, his parents still have questions. They want answers. He's not here to tell the story. And his siblings miss him every day. I miss him. I just want my justice. And if anybody know anything, just come for it. You ain't even got to say your name. For now, she holds on tight to what she has left of her son and the hope someone will come forward. He was a good kid. He didn't want for nothing or have to take from nobody to get what he want. So I don't understand why somebody took him from me. Now it is important to mention that two people, two teenagers were shot that night. The other teenager survived. Homicide detectives tell me this is still a very active investigation. Letitia tells me this weekend, the 22nd, which is Sunday, the anniversary of Demarion's death, they'll be holding a balloon release near 48th and uh, that street where he was shot and killed. We'll have the time and put that information on fox23.com. But if you have information about this case, you are asked to contact the Tulsa Police Department or Crime Stoppers. Covering news that matters, John Asibis, Fox 23 News.